Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I would like to talk to you about the head joint posture. This is one of the underrated aspects of posture for singing. Most people know that you want to have your chest lifted and breathe from the belly or breathe from the rib cage as I like to teach if you watch my breathing videos. And so, you know, having that chest lifted is key, but a lot of things, what people don't realize is this head position. And this is something I see a lot in some of my choral trained singers. They think of high notes, move the head up, the high notes up here, and the head goes higher and higher and higher and higher. Okay, so whenever I do that, this gets super strained right in my neck, or it just kind of makes that larynx not function ideally. Remember I talk about the larynx is like the princess in the pea. The larynx likes to have our neck fairly relaxed. Now when we belt, there is a slight head neck, so we go, hey, hey, so there's a slight that, but the head is not moving. Another thing that singers do is they think, ah, and they, their head, like their head position affects the, the pitch. That's not, that's just not how it works. The pitch happens in the larynx. Our head position has nothing to do with it. Again, sometimes choir teachers will say, up, 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 and people's head keeps coming up. Now the thing about choir is they are going for a different tone as far as having blend. So I don't want to pick on the choir teachers because they have a lot they're trying to manage. But as a soloist, in any setting, we want to keep our head joint balanced. The other thing that you know kind of irritates me is on all those reality TV shows, and oh my gosh, I could go on for days about what annoys me about those. I'm so glad they're almost done. But you always see people singing, and they got their mic, and they're like, yeah, I'm singing a high note, yeah! Okay, so that no one sings that way. That's for the camera, and it's not an efficient way. You don't need to, look, I'm singing a high note. Oh, here I am. None of those things really work ideally to be consistent and that's what we're going for it's all about consistency so when you sing you're like a trained athlete you have consistent results and that's what we're going for so here's the thing about the head joint so our head balances on our spinal column and this the spinal column actually does not come right here at the back of your head like a hinge like a door hinge it's actually between your ears so you want to balance your head over your spinal column and having it kind of like Kind of like those bobble heads you know you see in cars so you want to have that head kind of gently down now most people will need to put feel like the head is down more i had a great vocal um coach workshop she talked about posture and i should really talk about her whole lecture but she talked about balancing your head like the bottom of your nose so the head is going to feel a little further down and then you're going to have that nice swing in the jaw or if you're doing more of a rock thing so you don't want to have that head up and you can be too far down because you don't want to have this little thing going but basically keeping your head parallel like this and then letting the jaw open like this and maybe just this if you're doing some rock singing but not letting the head move around the more the head moves around the more your tone's going to sound kind of wonky and again it's not needed we want to isolate the right muscles and let go of the ones we don't need Heads bobbing around for pitches is not going to help you. Especially when I sing opera singers. I've actually coached solo ensemble and I see these people doing like runs and they're like, their heads bobbing around on each run. Don't need it. Pitches come from here. So keeping that head joint so everything can release and we can let the breath flow through is really key. So just check that. So you're going to go in the mirror, you're going to find your ears and you're going to lift yourself up and making sure your nose. So if you see my nostrils, then I'm not in the right position. <laughs> you want to feel that downward position in the head. Not too much, but kind of, kind of perpendicular is that what we're going for. And that might take a little ways to get used to that, especially watching all those people on Idol and The Voice because those shows have given a huge bad impression about the truth about singing and the truth about making career. So, I'm going to be making some videos on that here coming soon. I just have to figure out how to do it without totally ranting all over the place. But I'll do it. I'll get there. So that is the head joint. So just be aware of that head joint and keeping that posture aligned. So 
you can actually move, but also keeping that focus in the right place. All right, thank you so much for the likes and subscribes. If you like my content and would like more, please subscribe and also click the bell to be notified for future uploads. So thank you so much and I look forward to making more videos and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day and sing on.